Congressman Bilirakis, thank you for being with uh, Sky tonight. How did you view the meeting that President Biden had with uh, President Erdogan in Madrid the other day? Well, I'm very disappointed in the outcome. Mm -hmm. Very disappointed. Uh, Greece is an outstanding ally to the United States. Uh, and other countries in the region, such as Cyprus and Israel, uh, are outstanding uh, allies. And I don't believe that Biden took that into consideration when he made that decision mm -hmm. uh, with Erdogan. So, uh, yeah, and this has to be approved by Congress. Mm -hmm. I think it took very soft off. Now, regarding, as you said, the sale and the upgrade of the F-16 fighter jets to Turkey, how do you see Congress responding to the president's uh, green light? Well, first of all, we should not be selling, uh, you know, any type of uh, F-16 or any weapon to Turkey mm -hmm. or giving them any upgrades mm -hmm. uh, with their uh, present F-16s. We did a really good job uh, uh, scaling, uh, actually preventing the sale of the F-35s. Uh, and, uh, you know, I will tell you this. Prime Minister Mitsotakis did an outstanding job when he spoke to the members of Congress during the joint session of Congress a few weeks back. And I believe that Greece uh, has even more credibility with the members of Congress now. Uh, and then there are also Armenia and some of the surrounding countries. It's a dangerous uh, area with Turkey uh, it, it, uh, in charge. So I believe that we can fight this back. Mm -hmm. uh, we're we're going to do everything uh, we possibly can to prevent this sale. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Turkey, unfortunately, has a strong lobby in the United States. They give a lot of money uh, to members of Congress, uh, but also uh, they have influence over these administrations, particularly the, now the Biden administration. Uh, you know, under the Trump administration, I worked very hard to prevent that sale of the uh, F-35s. So we're gonna do the best we can. I've already spoken to some of the leaders, uh, the, the ranking member of Foreign Affairs, but also uh, the Armed Services Committee, the ranking member, and I'll speak with, I have a reputation of working with Democrats mm -hmm. uh, and Republicans. Uh, so uh, we're gonna do everything we possibly can. If the balance of power in the House changes uh, following the midterm elections in November, do you think passing such a bill in Congress might become even harder for President Biden? I would hope so. Mm -hmm. I would hope so. But this should not be a partisan issue. You know, they, 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 we have uh, strong allies that are members of NATO. I know that uh, uh, Turkey is a member of NATO. Frankly, I think that they should be removed uh, because for a lot of reasons. But invading another uh, country, NATO country, is unacceptable, such as Cyprus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in 1974. But also... I hope that President Biden did not make this deal where, uh, you know, they admitted Finland and uh, Sweden, uh, where they lifted their uh, their veto threat, Turkey, mm -hmm. uh, and then President Biden uh, made a request from Erdogan to, to, uh, for him to purchase these F-16s. That mm -hmm. would be awful. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that it happened, but we have to get to the bottom of it. Uh, are you aware of any initiatives that the Greek-American lobby will take to prevent the sale in the near future? Yeah, well, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there are some of the Greek-American organizations, they're mm -hmm. non-profit organizations, mm -hmm. not lobbyists, uh, they need to, uh, they are putting forth a grassroots effort. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a very serious matter because our, our Elada is being threatened mm -hmm. by Turkey. And sure, Erdogan may not act, but we can't take any chances. It's in, in uh, you know, he he uh, he's a maniac as far as I'm concerned. I know I'm not so really, but I, I have to tell you the truth. And you know, I I always received assurances, and and the State Department still has this position that Greece, America, the United States of America will protect Greece's sovereignty. Um, and, and, and again, it is in the best interest of the United States.